Welcome back. This um, video is going to be about the film yesterday, but when I was going through my Beatles 45 vinyl, um, I found the very first release they made, which was Love Me Do. And I couldn't resist starting the video um, on that. And I'm going to have a, a little look at some of my um, uh, vinyl before we go on to the main subject of the film, which is the movie Yesterday. But isn't this amazing? Um, can't have it on very loud, of course, because of copyright re reasons, and I'm talking over it fairly loudly. But, um, yes, the first single released in 1962 by the Beatles. This, uh, this label is on the red polyfilm label, and the number um, is prefixed by 45. The year 1962 was when Parlophone stopped making 78 records um, and after this the 45 doesn't appear anymore because um, they were all 45s but it was distinguished it between 78s and 45s. It also has a tax marking which precedes the, um, the VAT so it, it's got a tax marking which, which denotes um, income tax. Um, it's in mono and uh, it's an amazing record to own, and it has Made in Britain written on it. And the number of the record is 45R4949. So, there we go. Now, I suppose we better move on to what the subject of this video is all going to be about, which was yesterday. But, um, before I do that, I'd just like to share a few mo more of my... Uh, 45s with you. Well, that was um, Love Me Do, my um, the 1962 uh, first um, 45 single by the Beatles, and I'm just going to share some other ones with you while I'm while I, before I go on to yesterday. Um, by the way, I have got a copy of yesterday, which <laughs> I've got here. Um, but uh, um, I'll just share some of these other ones with you. Unfortunately, they're not in their polyphone sleeves, but I'm going to cheat a little bit and order some sleeves, retro polyphone sleeves, so that I can get them looking better than this. Um, she Loves You and I'll Get To You. Um, uh, I Want To Hold Your Hand. Um, I Feel Fine. Uh, Ticket To Ride. Um, all sorts of stuff here, um, Day Tripper, and this one I'm also very pleased about. It's again a mono version um, of uh, I Saw Her Standing There, and again, oh no, it's not on the red label, it's on the black label. But um, the only red label I have got is uh, the one that I shared with you just now, which is Love Me Do. Anyway, enough of that. Let's uh, move on to what this um, video is all going to be about. Well, first of all, um, I was given this by my grandson. Uh, the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, and I Should Have Known Better. And it comes in a lovely tin. Um, it also comes with a, a beautiful taxi cab um, from uh, the Beatles. And in the back of it, um, there was this, uh, this plaque. Excuse that. It's A Hard Day's Night, and I Should Have Known Better. And it's on a, a, a tin um, a, a, a tin thingy bob. So, yeah, that's nice to have. So I might put that up somewhere. But I think I might keep it intact in the tin. The other bits I have, let's let me grab them. Um, and I love uh, Yellow Sunbarine. And um, Yellow Sunbarine is absolutely amazing. Uh, and... Uh, uh, again, my grandson's been collecting these, um, and it's the Beatles, Yellow Submarine, and Hot Wheels. Um, so there's uh, some of the vehicles that appeared um, in Hot Wheels. I'll give a, a close-up. Well, there's the Yellow Submarine itself. Amazing. And um, Yellow Submarine, some of the limos that appeared. And there's, oops, sorry about this. Um, and there's the taxi, and there's the uh, camper van. I'll give you a close-up of some of these uh, in a few moments. In fact, I'll do it now. Right, we need to move on. Yesterday, the film. Y 
you may have noticed by the way that since my my last video um, I've been to the uh, hairdressers or the barber shop as I I go to I don't do fancy hairdressers I just go to a barber shop and uh, I've had my hair cut um, it was getting a bit straggly and I thought well um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get it cut um, maybe a little bit too much off but uh, I'm quite happy with it anyway moving back to the film uh, to, to the, 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 the record yesterday um, when I can find it again I think I've lost it oh there it is yesterday now I was looking through my collection couldn't find it anywhere and then suddenly I saw the Parlophone label and I saw yesterday on it and it's on Parlophone and it's released in 19 and I thought the date's a bit late 1966 but when I looked at it um, it's by Scylla Black. Now, it wasn't one of her big hits. It was a cover version of Yesterday. Uh, I didn't even know she'd released it, but um, there it was. But I searched further, and uh, let me put that to one side. And then I found um, Yesterday by the Beatles. And uh, so it was probably the best song um, written by Paul McCartney. And uh, it um, and Lennon and McCartney rather, and uh, I, it's just such a beautiful song. It's timeless, uh, and it, it's so so good. Now recently there was a film released, um, and it was entitled Yesterday. If you haven't seen it, can I encourage you to do so? It's an amazing film. It's a happy, feel-good film. It makes you feel good after you've seen it, uh, and you come out singing the songs. There's no Beatles tracks in it, but um, they had obviously had uh, copyright permission from the Beatle, uh, Beatles company to actually um, use the music in, in the film. And it's all about um, the day the world forgot about the Beatles. I'll put all the details of it down below this video. Um, but there was a there was a solar eclipse or a, something happened. I don't know. Um, but suddenly, no one knew about the Beatles except one man. And uh, he then this film is based on his recreation of the Beatles hits and the astounding response he got, obviously from the world who had never heard about the Beatles at all. Now, um, my daughter lives in Suffolk and uh, I visit her, but one of the things I saw when I watched the film in Bristol was that it was all, most of it, set in Suffolk uh, and uh, in, in areas around that, that place with the beach and things like that. So when I went to visit her, um, I went up and uh, I said, where is all this place, Goldstone and, and, and uh, Shingle Street and all that? And she said, let's go. So we went and I did some film. Now if you think my hair is short now, um, when you see this next clip of videos, which is shot in some of the locations, you'll be absolutely amazed because it's almost blown off. Um, and I'm a bit embarrassed about that really. But <laughs> I want to show you the clips anyway, because I think they're, they're, they're good. Um, and uh, when I got there, I thought, gosh, this is where they shot yesterday. Um, and uh, I'll just share that with you and then uh, I'll come back to you again but first of all I'm just going to have a biscuit need something to eat occasionally don't you and I quite like these now opening these things without breaking them is always a bit of a nightmare isn't it um, not really good at opening things well here we go shouldn't eat on camera but I'm just going to have a coffee put these other clips together and I'll be right back with you. Hello, I uh, unexpectedly find myself in uh, Norfolk, um, outside the uh, Pier Hotel in which uh, the Danny Boyle film yesterday was filmed. We're actually in Goldstone and uh, I'm going to show you some shots of the beach and that in a minute. I don't know quite what I'm doing here but um, it's a, a nice place to be on a windy afternoon in, in August. Um, I'm going to probably go into the hotel in a minute and have a drink. Um, so I'll catch up with you a little bit later. I'm now uh, opposite the um, Ocean Bay Amusements where those of you that have seen the film may remember the unfortunate bike accident occurred which erased the world's memory of the Beatles and to give you a spoiler for the end, Harry Potter. However, um, it's uh, a brilliant film and uh, that's where the bicycle actually happened, the crash actually happened. But um, I won't go on about that. Thank you for uh, this little bit. I'm now 
going to just stop here and uh, show you some other shops. Hello again, um, we're in uh, another yesterday location, this time um, down the coast from Galston and we're in a place called Shingle Street which is a fairly remote location and remember all those wonderful views of the sea and uh, when um, he drove up to meet uh, John Lennon and in the background there you can see the uh, the cottage that was used for that shoot. Um, so here I am and uh, we're just going to do a few shots around this area. It's very beautiful here, it's a lovely day uh, as you can tell because I'm squinting a little bit and um, there's all sorts of uh, um, stuff going on around me. Not too crowded with people but uh, there, there is um, an, some people here. So we're going to have a look around this area and uh, I'll be back to you very shortly. This is the road which uh, um, Jack Malik, played by Hamish Patel, um, drives up to meet uh, John Lennon towards the end of the film. And uh, the film directed by Danny Ball is just amazing. And these are some of the shots around that area. Um, of uh, Lily James uh, and Ed Shearing also appear in the movie um, and it's a real real piece of fun and uh, this is uh, some of the scenes around the beach area and this is a famous balcony on the Pier Hotel on which Jack Malik played his Beatles music to a huge crowd of extras that uh, appeared on the beach um, at Goldston just below Well, um, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, another Beatles-themed uh, um, uh, video. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope if you do go to um, Suffolk and Norfolk, you will uh, look up some of those places that I've been to. Um, and if you see the film, then that will bring it all back to you. What I didn't mention is um, I, I stayed in Beckles, and Beckles is very, very close to where they film the excerpts from the Latitude Festival. Um, which takes place each year uh, in Suffolk. So um, another great place to visit if you do festivals and things. I'm afraid I'm a bit old for that now. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, as I say, I'm not an expert. I'm not a disc. Uh, I'm not a uh, an expert on 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 um, I'm all this stuff and on discs. Um, I, I'm not a um, audio file or anything like that. But I do enjoy my music. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give me a like and. Uh, as always, take care.